Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Uh, today's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to go into depth like I wanted to. Uh, I'll do that next week, plus I'll have more information. However, I do want to hit the main things. I was able to use the Fitbit scale. I really wanted to use that. You know, remember last week I bought it and I was ready to use it. Um, no, I did not get under 400 pounds yet. However, I was able to use my Fitbit scale and it said 400 plus on the scale. And when I looked at my app, because I synced the scale in with the app on my phone, it actually had the white the weight. And uh, I started off at 434. Well, now I'm 404.5. Yes, I'll start using the points because this scale uses the points. And they actually record them. I was going to have a picture and put it on one of them sides. However, with the time constraint, I'm unable to do that. But it was 404.5, and that is a 29.5 loss altogether through three weeks. Only three weeks. That's I'm almost averaging 10 pounds a week. Now, granted, I will not continue that trend. I absolutely know this. I know it's not reasonable. But um, the main thing I've been doing is staying focused on eating one to two meals a day. I know it works better for some people to have five or six meals, and that's fine. Whatever works for you is what works for you. But right now with me, I, I've been eating one to two meals a day, and that's been working fantastic for me. I eat anywhere from 500 to 3,000 calories in a day, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little less. Now, when I say 500 calories, these aren't your normal calories. These are like a huge salad that has a lot of stuff into it and then I'm able to eat that 500 calories uh, anyway I'm very pleased to be able to get all this done finally I'm on the trend that I've been wanting to and I wasn't able to do that before uh, I feel better than I have in a long time I'm able to you know put my socks on a little easier I've been going to the gym every day, doing swimming. I've been uh, disc golfing a lot. I've been walking a lot. I'm getting ready to start incorporating weights, so that way I'll feel even better. And I just got to give Fitbit another shout out. Um, ever since I put that on, uh, I got to be honest. When I've done this in the past, I'd say I went to the gym. Yeah, I went to the gym, but I really didn't, you know show up and put out uh, I went now I always did good you know I always went all out on disc golf but the gym no now I'm showing up to the gym and I want to make sure that I put enough time into swimming like maybe I went swimming before oh, I did 10 minutes whatever oh I went on the treadmill oh, I went on five minutes oh I did it. now I'm doing 45 minutes swimming I did two hours swimming before I'm doing uh, you know average of 45 to 60 minutes on swimming I uh, did the elliptical this last week I only got the 14 minutes um, but I'm looking forward to doing some more elliptical definitely looking forward to doing more weights and I've been eating on point you know just making sure I eat one to two meals a day I've even had Wendy's like three times last week and it, it's all about making the proper choices that I haven't done before. And I do have Weight Watchers to thank for that too, because, you know, there's some things I don't like about the Weight Watchers, but the thing that I really like about it is the zero point foods. And those tell me that, okay, even though those foods have calories in them, maybe they're better calories than, you know, like the 17 point food or something like that. Anyway, I got to cut this video off and I'm going to try to make a much better one next week. I just wanted to get something out there. Let you know, I'm almost lost 10 pounds a week. Yeah, see if I get another 10 next week. That'd be uh, 39 or that'd be 39.5 or 4. I'd like to shoot for 40. If I got 40, that'd be awesome. 40 pounds in four weeks. That's, let's find out. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Turn that thumbs up blue and smash that notification button. Till next time.